Hello again, my followers and subscribers. We're looking at another issue or another video. And we're looking at managing a turf for sporting activity. And we want to be careful that we take all the necessary things into consideration. Right? Why to watch this video to the end? Ensure that you like and comment if it is the first time please ensure that you subscribe to the channel it is malachi emru In managing your turf, you know, for sporting activities, say football and say cricket, especially in the third world country, turf is of great importance. So the first thing we want to do is to do an observation of the field or the turf or the area. Why are we observing? We, we need to observe to, 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 obs to, to find areas of rapid growth or areas that are growing slowly and also to, to see how well treatments are working. We observe also to identify areas that need treatment, whether in the short term or the medium term. We also want to identify areas that need repair so if we need to plug or we need to do some sprigging all of these we have to we have to do if we want to ensure that our lawn or our turf is of the best quality right also we observe if we want to control our weeds and in your turf turf tend to be grass only we want to control the broadleaf weeds. So for the broadleaf, we will use selective herbicides. So it is very, very important that you, you do your observ observation of the area. Again, you can always find bad patches that need to be treated or to be removed. Very, very important. Right, so we have to look carefully. Again, we may find some pests there that we, we may need to treat. So the whole observation, very, very important. And it is key. Again, we can always look and see how well the grass is growing or if there's too much moisture, the color of the grass and we may need to add a fertilizer or some treatment to ensure that we get the best, the best out of it. Right? Very, very key very very key right so so we have to ensure that we keep the facility or the ground in tic-tac shape the best possible shape especially if the ground is one of the those that are highlighted by many or it is one of the top ground within the area right so we we have to get the funds if funds are lacking, or we need to get management teams, person who advise, technical personnel, person who do the grounds or the curation. And we have to be so, so, so careful that we, we get the, the best. Because persons will always come and say, oh, something is wrong with this, with this lawn or with this. In... Maintaining the turf for sporting activities, we have to do a number of repairs. The repairs are very crucial if we are to have the best quality turf. So we have to look at a number of things. We may have to look at mowing. We may have to look at whether we are going to do sprigging, whether we are going to do fertilizing, or we are going to do aerating. And these are so crucial. Right? Or we're going to do pest and, and, and disease management. So, so these are all crucial things that we, 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 we have to look at. So when we are doing aerating, we have to be careful of the season. So 
it, normally in the wet season the soil become sod or the soil become water long and as such there is very little oxygen so we may have to do aerating and there are devices or implement that we attach to tractors and we use it to punch hole in the field so extra or some amount of air can go into it a very important activity in the drier season you may not have to do it that frequent unless the the soil is compact but we always need air in the in the soil one of the most important activity that is carried out on a turf and most patrons would want to come or they come to see this activity and uh, see the field in tic tac shape and it is mowing again mowing of turf is recommended you know based on what it is being used for and again it also depends on the type of grass that is there so the most popular grass we we use are the bermuda grass cyanide and dactylon and the savannah grass people normally refer to it as a carpet grass the anopus com compressors and, and and also people to some extent use the, the manila grass we know by the name zorza so these are very important in, in in your turf so when you establish so when you manage you will know exactly how frequent must i cut my lawn but in the drier time two to three times per month but in the rain season three or more and it depends on how wet the soil is the frequency of rain because if there's a lot of rain the soil will not have much oxygen and we may not have sufficient growth and the soil may also cause the, the, the grass to have a pale color once we mow we must rake and it is very important so we remove all debris and we remove all that grass that has been cut so that the area looks presentable and patron will always want to come and, and may commend the management team on how well this is done. Again, remember it is Malachi M. Rowe, the channel, but we are looking at Malachi perspective on managing turf. Also, in maintaining the, the turf, we have to identify some spots that the soil has been removed and you if you look closely you will see some brown spot that mean it is soil so in the case of football the, the, the spikes would have removed or the stud would have removed part of the soil especially in the wet condition so what we may do we may have to do what we call sprigging or plugging so we may get some small pieces of soil with with, with some amount of, of grass on it so in the case of sprigging, we use some small pieces of turf, but it must have root and it must have like some of what we call the stolons and, and we put them in place. So you can look and you see, see there. In some situation, we may have to remove an entire area and here we're looking at some of the, the zarza grass. We may have to remove an area and we put in a piece of what we call a sod. So a sod would have been a larger piece, it could have been a long strip, and we put it in so that we can get quick repair. Quick repair, so we will have to wet and fertilize and do all of that crop care to bring it in the best order. Right there, we may need to put some plugs. So plugs are some small pieces of, 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 of grass with soil, about 5 centimeters, about 2 inches across and you put them in those at the area and you wet but if it is minor then we may just roll or we allow it to stay because the grass will grow in place so your management now here is important so as you go through you can do this minor repair but in this case you may have to remove that entire area and then you you, you put in a nice sod so it is, it is very important. So what you should do, you should have an area or prepare an area that you will have enough sods and where you can get your sprigs and your plugs in the eventuality that you have to remove a bad patch. It could have been, say, pests or insect causing it to be unsuitable. So here, again, we put in some, some pieces of plugs. 
So it is, it is important that we, when you move, if the cycle is ideal, then you may not have this situation arising. But in this case, again, it may require just some wetting. And if it is a wet season, you may just need a little rolling or you need some extra sun. And everything would have been, you know, back in, back in place. Very, very important. So again, you must observe your turf. And then you have to carry out the management practices. So, so while, while doing that, you, after putting in, say, the, the sods and the sprigs and the plugs, you, all you may need to do now is, say, some amount of fertilizing. So you add some fertilizer and lawn or turf require high nitrogen. Theoretically, they want high nitrogen and high phosphorus. Because the nitrogen is ideal for leafy growth. And that is what everybody wants to see. And the phosphorus now help with root. But the good thing though, much of the soil we have has much phosphorus in the form of, of, of rocks. So we have calcium, phosphate and magnesium and so on. So, so what is ideal and is recommended is a fertilizer with high nitrogen and high potassium. Locally, we can use 15 535 grade fertilizer and we get the, the best result. But that alone cannot work because that is a granular fertilizer. We will, want, we will have to use some foliar fertilizer. So we spray on, so that's like a quick fix, a quick green, or it enhances the entire ambience. Of the, of the facility and the lawn because people want to come and see green, green lawn. Right? And finally, pest control. Very, very important. So once we cut the lawn and we have residue or debris, then these are going to decompose. And once they start to decompose, we are going to have pests. So we have the larger pests like ant. And you'll find a lot of ant there and you don't want to have that because when at least fall on the field, then the ant is going to cause a problem. Very, very important. I hope that this video was informative. Again, if you find it very informative, leave a comment and like the video too. But importantly, if you have a lawn or you have such facility and you require advice or you need assistance, you can reach out. Reach out to the channel. Check there the description. Or check the contact information and you can reach out to me. I can provide some assistance. Again, thanks for viewing.